Hi, it's Anton Mahmood. I'm a consultant trauma orthopedic surgeon. I want to talk to you today about LIPAS, so that's low intensity pulsed ultrasound and uh, the Exogen device. Exogen is, is, is the more common device. It's, it's a market leader in this uh, space. And where do we use it? We use it where fractures need healing. So bone fractures are really, really common in long bones and sometimes for whatever reason, they don't unite. So a fracture usually will heal over a few weeks. Average, say for instance, the commonest bone that we see in is a tibia in your leg. So if your shin bone breaks, your body will try to heal that. We usually support that with fixation device that can be anywhere from a plaster to a plates and screws or a metal rod. The body will generally heal most of these fractures within three to four months. That's the sort of average healing time. But for some patients that can extend six months, a year, 18 months. And for what reason, they, they, they don't heal. So a proportion of those fractures need stimulation. And that can be delivered uh, in those non-union cases by the Exogen device. That's available here at Clinical Global Health. And uh, what's really important to know about the Exogen device Device. It's not a case of putting the device on, it's about knowing when to use it and also knowing how to use it. So you've got to pick your patients, they've got to use it regularly, and that's once a day usually in most patients. If they comply with that use of at least once a day for just 20 minutes, it's non-invasive, it's painless, it will actually 80 to 90% of cases heal those fractures where they just need that additional stimulation. It also has been used in the past for fracture accelerations. By that I mean making fractures heal that bit sooner. And again, there's really good basic science data showing that it can accelerate fracture healing, both in animals and patients. It is approved by the National Institute of Clinical Excellence in the UK for non-unions. And I'm using it regularly both in my NHS patients, uh, for those patients who are suitable and achieving unions. So it's something that we like to bring into our practice here, Pinnacle, and uh, find that it's very useful adjunct to our practice in uh, trauma patients. However, as I said earlier, the most important thing is knowing how to use it well. And I'm one of the national expert group providing advice on how to use this. And we're collecting data nationally on the best practice across the country and then we're holding that in and teaching people how to get the best results with this device by using and utilizing data and experts from around the world globally to, to, to provide a consensus statement on the gold standard of use of this device but it can major advantages are it can avoid major surgery or revision surgery it can avoid surgery there's a huge number of patients on our NHS waiting list that could potentially benefit from using this device if it does stimulate a fracture and it gets healed then you don't need that revision surgery. So I think using it correctly and using it well in the right patients is key and we use ultrasound targeting to deliver the beam which is actually really really narrow so knowing exactly where to place it precisely at the fracture point is key and what x-ray what ultrasound does uh, better than x-ray is actually allow, allow what we call a it provides a tangent so it provides a vector so a direction to where you need to hit it on a particular part of the body and most parts of the world that get really good results with this do use ultrasound guidance, use targeting, check on those patients regularly to make sure they're complying with the device usage and that the site is still very, very accurate. And again, data suggests 80 plus percent of those patients you can actually heal without surgery. So a really important additional tool in our armament for treating trauma patients uh, and those whose fractures either need to be pushed. Typical patient can be a sports person. You know, they, they, they don't want to wait necessarily four months or five months for the fracture to heal. Uh, if you can push it and accelerate it by a few weeks, that's usually useful. A lot of insurance companies will actually cover it for that. But the, the biggest population by far is those people who don't unite. So what we call the non-union group of patients or delayed union where the fracture isn't healing or behaving as it should do. Certain indications this device can be used very, very successfully. So again, um, any advice on that to see if you're suitable, please contact us at uh, pinnaclegloberhealth.com on the website and phone number available below. Thank you.